we've all come to terms that I'm pretty much a genius, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm a genius. You know I'm a genius. You know I'm a... Okay. Moving on. So, when it comes to people that just make you mad in some kind of way, sometimes you feel like letting them have it. And then you realize, ah, oh, damn it, I don't have an insult to say. So that's why I have brought you insults. Best insults that I have found... I actually found a book in the library straight on insults, just just insults itself, and I am bringing you the best that I have found. Very few, but remember, best. Hold on. Well, anyway, hold on. Where is my paper? So, best insults I have found yet, and I call this caustic comebacks. Ready? All right. When we're talking about someone who usually says a lot of stupid stuff, like Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears, some people don't get this, but I'm telling it to you because I hope you get it, okay? Number one, L Lilo says, I gotta get out on bail, but like, I only have like $40,000. My bail's like 20, and I need the other, like, all that to get my boobs done. If you're gonna say something that dumb, at least fake a stroke. So, the reason this is, I'm not going to explain it to you. If you want me to explain it, I'll do that in another video. Alright? Number two. So, this is for someone, boy or girl, who likes to bitch a lot. And usually doesn't just, like, complains and all that. So, I was going to use the name of the medication here. But I figured not many people know it. So, I'm just going to shorten it up. Okay? Number two. God, I hate this. Oh, my God. Like, seriously, like, oh my god, I hate it. Did you see it? Listen, 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 Lindsay, Lindsay. If I give you some PMS medication, will you shut the hell up? Yeah, uh-huh. Good, you get one. Number three. Now, this insult... This, this insult is usually to make someone feel bad about themselves. Usually an insult that you're just, like, super mad at them, and you want to make them feel really bad about themselves. Number three. There were one, 10 million billion sperm, and you just had to be the one that went, didn't you? You just had to win, didn't you? I messed up on that one, but it's to add, um, you know what I mean. Number four. This is for, like, a girl that dates a lot and doesn't really get anything out of her relationships. Number four. He dumped me again, and I did so much stuff for him. You know what, Sadie, you remind me of a bar of soap. Something everyone uses, but doesn't really pay attention to. Number five. Now this is for stupid people. Stupid people only, or people who are really narrow-minded like me. And I found this one in the library book. So, yeah. Number five. You should broaden your mind. Why don't you stick a couple sticks of dynamite in your ears? Number... Six. Now, this is for some, like, really cold people. Now, I was going to use... It doesn't look like butter would melt in your mouth. Or anywhere in your body, for that matter. But I, I thought that was going to be a little too complicated. So I decided to use this one. Could you reach into your heart and pull me out a couple of ice cubes, please? My Arizona's kind of cold. I mean, hot. <laughs> now, that one took a little thinking. Number seven. This is for a quote-unquote... This is for quote-unquote lonely people or people who tend to think that they did a lot, but in reality are very unpopular, very unwanted as a partner. So number seven. So I gotta, she broke up with me again, and, you know, I don't need her at all, but like, you know, I broke up with him. Hey, Jeff, I have an idea. If you just pissed me off, like, for the 17th time, why don't you go break your neck trying a new sexual position with your hand? All right, buddy? Good job. That one took a lot of thinking, too. All right, number eight, I believe. Um, I didn't want to use that one, okay, so I'm just... Number nine, the last one. You're the reason why you make the shelter dogs look miserable. 
I do admit that one was kind of lame, but I had to do some kind of stuff to do that. So, I did this like this because I didn't want to sit down. I didn't want to do all that stuff. So, I decided no one's here. I think I'll just do a video straight on, and this is actually hanging from the bookcase. So, yeah, I shouldn't have product placement that. <laughs> yeah, um... When this video is going to go up, I want you to please, 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 please check out my Twitter at BaltimoreLewis9, everything lowercase, with a 9 at the end. Um, uh, like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe, add to a playlist, um, do whatever you do to this video, don't break your neck trying a new sexual position with your hand, so... <laughs> Um, question of the day. <gasps> Yay! So, what is the worst insult that you've heard? And when I say worst, I mean, like, the meanest, coldest insult that you've heard ever. And I want you to put that in the comment section below. And, uh, please check out Ray William Johnson's channel at Equals 3. He does those. I'm not sure if all of you know about that, but I love it and um i think that you should really go check them out if you really want to have a laugh so uh you guys know what to do i hope you enjoyed this video of insults i did my best my watch is nice my ring is nice my face is nice and this intro is nice see ya